Today I'm making another build for the simped up save file. This time it's in Glimmerbrook. First I'm making its inhabitants. When the virus just broke loose, the inhabitants of Glimmerbrook hid away in the magic school. They were saved from the virus, but now everything has calmed down, they came back. These two sims are married and that I'm making right now. The first one is uh, pretty scary. They are both spellcasters and uh, a very high level. They see themselves as the elite of spellcasters. They are both adults and I think they turned out uh, pretty well. I hope you liked them too. And now we are going into the build. I had a vision of a magical house on top of a floating rock. And with the right mods, it's actually not that hard. I have tool and I have got a better build by. Both are made by T Max. I'll link them down below. Um, with the better build by mod, I could find a the rock really really quickly in the debug menu. And with the tool mod, I could flip the rock around and just place it wherever I wanted. You saw me just make the first floor of the house and then the second floor and then lead the first floor. That way you can raise up a house as high as you want. It's not actually resting on the rock, it's just the uh, illusion that it does. The rocks are both from the debug menu so your sims will walk right through them, they don't even know they're there. Now I'm working on the shape of the house, I wanted uh, it to have a little, a little tower and... Uh, a bit of main area and then a bridge connecting the two rocks together and the second part would be a, a sort of a shed where they can do their magic. I had searched Pinterest for inspiration as I usually do when I'm, I'm doing builds but this time I didn't get inspiration from an actual house but from a piece of artwork, an artwork a piece of a fantasy build. It inspired me for the shape of the front house and for the color scheme. Here I'm working on the outside. I wanted them to have a garden and place outside where they can do their magics. But of course you can't have an actual garden on top of a stone. So these are just green tiles. Later on I'm trying to rain paint on them, but that doesn't work on <laughs> those, uh, those tiles. This will be the uh, front garden and the entryway to the house. As you see there is no way to enter the house from the ground unless your sim is able to ride a broom, turn it into a bed or just teleport. Like when your sim has a high level of um, wellness skill, they can actually teleport. <laughs> Uh, I am using wallpaper from Get Together, which was closest to the reference picture I had. The roof is blue, which I thought was a really nice touch. Just really, really pops, you know. The lot I'm building on is in the bottom right corner of Glimmerbrook. It's the most secluded part, I thought. So perfect for some spellcasters that just want to hide out in peace and uh, practice their magics. I am putting a Doppler there and of course it wouldn't be one of my builds if it didn't ha have stranger room windows. <laughs> I'm just using the really really small ones. The reference picture I used had tiny round windows which is also really cute. We do have those but they are a bit bulky. Especially for a small build like this. So I thought this, these just looked a lot nicer. I am uh, spending a lot of time on the outside of the house, just make it look cute before I'm going to the inside. When I go to the inside of the house, I am realizing exactly how small I made it. But it worked out in the end. Here is the garden. I am placing that stone slab there with the, the magical symbols on it and a bit of pathway. At first I tried rain paint but it didn't work on tiles of course. And then I found these mushrooms in the debug menu from uh, Realm of Magic. Just looked really really cute. That vine plant I put in the corner I had to delete it in the end because my sim couldn't walk past it for some reason. This tower will be the bathroom. I'm using a lot of Realm of Magic stuff. Also using a lot of those scones. When you use enough of them, it actually lit 
lid plays up quite well. These tiles, I uh, I do like them a lot. I use them often also in non-magical builds. Because the space is so small, I'm using a Murphy bed. I went for the black swatch. I thought it uh, looked nice. I really wanted to use that big lamp from Realm of Magic, but it was way too big for this space. So I sized it down one, which did mean that there are some floating lights in the room. Well, I think that just uh, adds to the vibe. A lot of Realm of Magic stuff in the kitchen. It's just uh, really pretty stuff. Unfortunately, we do not have matching upper cabinets. So I fixed that by using shelves. And of course there are some herbs here. I am using the red shelf just to place a lot of stuff on top of those shelves. I am removing cabinets because otherwise the stuff will snap to those cabinets and it just uh, wouldn't work. These jars I believe are from Dine Out and some jars from Cats and Dogs. And I'm placing some books on top of there. You can't use those books I think but you do have a bookshelf next to the bed so that's uh, that's all fine i'm using realm of magic again for the flooring i really like the dark flooring in combination with the light walls i did want a computer here because it's always handy when you're playing the sims and your sim can use a computer and a small dresser also from realm of magic and now i realize why that realm of magic mirror is so incredibly high because it fits perfectly above the dresser and of course a realm of magic rack and i have placed a clock above the the bed which i thought looked very nice of course your spellcasters do need a cauldron so i placed that there in the in the garden and i'm placing a seance table and some stuff from the paranormal stuff back here in here i thought that it would be from the second sim I created the first one would be more into the magic the cauldrons and the, the spells and such and the second one more into invoking the spirits and the other kind of spooky stuff I'm putting some realm of magic life edit trees there just to make it blend into the environment and these are the screenshots i hoped you liked this build if you want to join in the sims up safe the link will be down below and i hope to see you next time bye bye